Republic and of Slovakia take a very different attitude towards culture, towards immigration, towards Islam. They have a completely different you know, cultural reference point to what you see in, in, in Brussels. So, so there's some real big battles, real big rows going on. Now, a feature of this programme is talking pints, but I'm a little bit worried that local businessman and entrepreneur Clive Hopkins hasn't got a pint. Uh, Clive, Clive, welcome to the programme, and it's very good to see you. Thank you. Now, you run Blanco's Hotel, amongst other things. Uh, obviously, we've talked about the steelworks. I'm guessing that lockdown was a nightmare in your business. It was, yes. But how are things now? Uh, well, I could say getting better, but only a little bit better. We've, um, we've actually started this week looking forward to people who've been waiting to come to a lookalike show. Right. In our hotel for two years. <laughs> it's all sorted out for tomorrow. And then we have these people from the local council to say the rules have been changed. T tomorrow you have to shut at 12 or you, you can dance and shut your bars or you can stop the dancing and open your bars. Now these things are ridiculous that we've got to bring in. These people... I've waited two years for these dues. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. it's a thing that um, a guy you haven't mentioned very well much about today, uh, Mr. Drakeford. Yes, I, I touched on him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, uh, yes, and it's quite right for people well, to say. They're all booing, but you voted for him in Wales. I mean, no. well, 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 someone well, did. Uh, well, according, oh, according to him, he had the best results ever this year uh, because it's not so much... The, the voting, because the voting worked out that only people that voted w voted for him. The rest of the people didn't bother to vote. Yeah. And this is why Labour is very, 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 very good in Wales, because they get out, the Labour people get out into the streets, they get their people in, yep. and they get, right, right, oh, Mr. Jones, right, we'll get a car for you, we'll take you in the car, and then they go jump in the car, Mr. Jones, expert there. They've gone one better now. They don't do that. Postal votes. Yeah, I know. It's like I it's know. like I like know. you were mate in America. You reckon he had the votes pinched from him? He didn't have the vote. He didn't get the, he didn't get it right. If he had used his head and done what the Democrats did and got the the votes the same way as they did, postal votes, he probably would have won. What do you think of postal voting? Uh, I, well, it's it's a. It, well, it's, it's, it's fair to the fact that some people can't get out oh, to sure, vote. for a small percentage. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, so yeah. I, I agree with it. But the way that the Labour Party conduct it, it's, it's, to me, I feel it's illegal. Yeah. But they, they, <laughs> I know it's a big word. But <laughs> that's the, and for, uh, that's just, just, just say that we're not taken off air by Ofcom. This is a personal opinion that Clive is giving. Oh, yes, yeah, very much so. <laughs> very, very. You know, I had to sit and listen to Mr. Kinnett. Right, yep. we've got our arguments. We've got big arguments. Yep. That could go to court if I used to really say what I really think. But I noticed today he was this, um, he didn't say Sir Kia, he said Kia. I was wondering, that was why. Anyhow, it's Sir Kia. I thought he was talking about that. I thought he was Sir Kia's double. Did you? He, yes. He, he didn't make a decision on going forward on what they should have done, especially the people down in the VLC. They, they, had, they were annoyed, as I hear from people, yeah. because you know where I am, I hear what's going on. They were annoyed because local council workers and all that didn't have to go to work, they could work for home. So they took the, I might be wrong, but they took the attitude. Well, how do you drive a bus from home? I haven't worked that out yet. But. <laughs> no, 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 the DVLC people that work in the offices, I know, I know, you I know. understand. Yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And so that, that is the reason why most of them say we're going to strike because we should be working from home. The DVC also are employing people now, right? And they're giving them jobs from working from home. So, as people that need staff, haven't got a chance of getting them because they're giving jobs to people working from home. That's mad. 
Yeah. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. No, That's it is. It. Now, tell me about other things that you do here. You've got a business, and, you, yeah. and it's all back up and running. <laughs> yeah. You've been, you've been a, bit of, a bit of a supporter of local rugby here, yeah? Oh, yes. Um, well, there's one guy by there, his club, um, the, the Quins, the mighty Quins in Portola, the famous rugby club, and there's the chairman, or something like that. And uh, yeah, we all, I also... These guys here, I sponsor, sponsor them every year yeah. after the uh, annual choir. They, uh, they bring people like uh, Leslie Garrett and everyone like that to my hotel, and they have a good time. Anyhow, look at them. They, they are this of patrol, but they are the backbone of patrol, but are they? These men have, these men have worked all their lives here. Right? They deserve better than what they are getting. And this is what is making me mad. We're, they, the, this joke in Cardiff, the Senate, is taking the mickey out of these people. They work when before before the steel company was in. There was the tin works and all, and they all come through that to, it, to one of the greatest steel works ever. They produce the finest steel ever, mm -hmm. and yes, there should be subsidies to help them, and I'm sure they will be in the end, right? But they should stop the scaremongering. We don't need to carry on doing this. So much scaremongering, like, oh, we're going we're gonna to have nothing for Christmas. Yeah. What did you boys have when you were a kid? Uh, well, <laughs> orange and an apple. In a, yeah, orange and an apple in a, in a sock. Right? No, they were in because the kids can't have 20 presents or something. I know. Well, where are we going, boy? Yeah. Yeah, there you are. Uh, where are we going? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Right. <laughs> Look about Thank you. Yeah, okay. On that note, that was Clive Hopkins on Talking Bones.